the UFC's featherweight champion has issued a rather dismissive response to Edmund Tarverdin's claim that Ronda Rousey would defeat her inside the octagon. The downfall of the former UFC bantamweight champion Ronda Rousey was perhaps one of the most shocking declines in recent MMA history. For years she ruled over the bantamweight division in an era of dominance that had many speaking her name amongst the very greatest athletes of the decade. Rousey's star power, in a Prem Grigor era, managed to elevate the UFC to previously unheard of heights, but like all great titans over the course of history, the fall that she endured a swift and thunderous. Holly Holm's shocking win over the ratty one at UFC 193 signified a major change in the modern-day UFC, and though few picked the preacher's daughter to come through with a win, the fact that she did brought her own name power to a level that few of her counterparts could ever imagine reaching. Rousey's stock did take a hit as a result of that stunning loss, but her UFC 207 comeback against Thenchamp Amanda Nunes really did prove to the world that she was nothing more than a shadow of her former self as Nunes pummeled her to a very one-sided first-round TKO. So naturally, it came as a massive shock to the world when her often criticized head coach, Edmund Harvardian recently told Ariel Hawani that he believed that Rousey should face off against the dominant featherweight champion Christiane Cyborg Justino upon her return to the sport. What really confused a lot of people, however, was that not only did he see Cyborg as the ideal second comeback fight for the former 135 pounds champ, but he also believed that his fighter would emerge victorious if they did ever finally take each other on. Chris Cyborg has been undefeated for the past 12 years and has established herself as one of the most vicious knockout artists in the game today. When you couple that with the fact that Rousey has shown some pretty glaring holes in her stand-up in the past, you would be forgiven for scratching your head at this latest comment from her divisive coach. And Justino, herself, spoke to Ma Fighting recently about this admittedly strange comment and added a pinch of humor to her response, taking a subtle dig at both Tarverdian and his semi-retired superstar fighter. If Ronda wants to come back for a fight, I believe it's better for her to fight Misha Tate. I'm in another stage of my career. I wanted to fight Ronda when she was psychologically well and confident. Now, if she wants to make a good fight for the fans, we can make it at WWE. It would fit perfectly to go to Hollywood, and for me would be another challenge in my career. And something brilliant, her coach would fit perfectly in her corner in WWE, he's nothing but a joke. Harsh words from the hard-hitting Brazilian but in truth, a two-noop fight against the similarly semi-retired Misha Tate would make a hulu a lot more sense than allowing Ronda to risk her health once again against the most difficult option available to her. Only time will tell if we see Ronda Rousey in action once more, but if she and her coach are wise, perhaps it would be best to pick up a win or two before speaking the name of the ferocious featherweight champion again. Cillian Cunningham, Pundit Arena.